Hey guys, Jonathan here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to build some customs from the new Fallout series over on Amazon. So everything here is built using 100% official LEGO parts and pieces, and if you like videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any future LEGO videos on the channel. All right, let's get into building these customs. All right, so up first we have Lucy, and it only makes sense to start with her. So for the hair piece here, you can see it's kind of the long ponytail in the back with the bangs in the front. It's come in a lot of places over the years, so relatively common piece. The head comes from Captain Carter from the LEGO Marvel Collectible Minifigure Series with the torso from Thanos from Mighty Micros back in 2017 or so. Now that being said, as of this video, that torso is only about five bucks over on Bricklink. And of course, people have been making Fallout customs for years, so I'm not the first person to use that for this. But yeah, it really is the best torso ever to use. Even when it came out, I remember people saying like, oh, it's perfect for Fallout. So definitely the best thing to use. Went ahead and put some tan hands on there with the handcuff method where you cut off a chain on a pair of handcuffs. That way you could get the Pip-Boy on there. And then she does have brown boots in the show. And unfortunately, there are no legs with light blue on top and dark brown on bottom. So the closest I could get is using Woody's legs from Toy Story. All right, next up, we've got Maximus. Now, he has quite a few costume changes throughout the show, but I went ahead with this reference image for this one. The torso comes from the ACU from Jurassic World with dark gray arms and legs. Of course, I used this head from just one of the generic troopers from Star Wars with Finn's hair and matching hands to tie the look together. Of course, you saw in the thumbnail too, I did the power armor, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Now, building the ghoul is interesting because, you know, his nose is blown off of his face, so you kind of see, like, the skull look, which immediately made me think of Red Skull. But then I thought, wait a minute, all LEGO figures are missing noses, so do I really need to use a special head? Well, as you can see, I went ahead and used the Red Skull head anyways because I do think it works really well. Plus, by the time you put a tan fedora on top, the shadow kind of covers up the face, and yes, you can tell it's red, but it does look a little bit more like... I don't know how you would explain it, like the dark tan look that he has in the show. The other head I considered using was the scarred Anakin head from Revenge of the Sith, but like I said, ultimately I went with the Red Skull head. The torso comes from the Lone Ranger, although to be honest, there are a lot of great torsos from the Wild West and the Lone Ranger that can work, so if you have a better recommendation, let me know down in the comments. And the legs come from one Captain Jack Sparrow. I think that this one turned out really good, and of course you could add in some Wild West guns and things like that, but that would totally be up to you. All right, and finally, we've got the power armor. Now, I really like the way that this turned out. I even went ahead and built the gun for it as well. Now, there's been a lot of Fallout customs over the years, and a lot of people have used a lot of parts for power armor. And to be honest, I would recommend you take a look online and see what all is out there. But what I went with here is one of these helmets from the minifigures from Hero Factory. A lot of people don't even know those exist. But of course, there's a black head underneath to dark out the eyes. Then I used some dark gray, or even gunmetal gray might be the correct color, of the Samurai Ninja armor there, because I really like the way that that comes over the shoulders and makes the shoulders look a little more bulky. You can't really tell by the time it's covered up by everything, but the torso and legs come from the uh, snapper armor from Iron Man. I think that was it. It's the one that has like the drills on it, you know, on his hands from the Hall of Armor. Then I had him standing on one by one square studs so that it makes him just a little bit taller. I used the handcuff method there, which once again is where you take a pair of handcuffs and cut the chain off, then put the cuffs back on the wrists to make the hands look a little bit bulkier. And finally for the gun, I just kind of went with my own design here using a long silver harpoon with one of these gear pieces, then some Technic pieces with some of the Technic tubes on the inside, just to make the gun extra bulky. And honestly, I think it came out looking almost exactly like what we see in the show. And I'm super excited about that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and round out this showcase and call it a day. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of these customs in the comments down below. Let me know what you want to see next here on the channel. And if you didn't before, make sure you hit like and subscribe on the way out. See you guys on the next video. And until next time, Bill and on.